Okay, so this video is more of um, if, for example, I'm just gonna unlock this one because I locked this a minute ago. So for example, you have a scientific um, poster and then you want to say this image here and then you want to magnify just a part of it and then put some text, random text. So here's what what you're gonna do. So um, I like this feature in CorelDRAW because it magnifies one section of the of the image so first of all I'm gonna create a shape so for example I'm gonna create a circle okay and then now uh, and then go to your lens so go to FX and then click on lens and when you click on lens now this um, dialog box will show up uh, and then this are, there's a lot of a lot of uh, options here say so if you're gonna go bright and so it just brightens that that part of the image and what is amazing here because if I move this around I can still do it to other parts of the object or the um, image but what I'm talking about here is I'll, I'll be talking about magnify so magnify so when you click on magnify you'll see it magnifies one part of the you know of the image so for example I want to highlight this one and then what you can do Obviously, you can change the outline here. I'm going to make the outline. just going to double click on this. Uh, I'm going to make it thicker, say 3 millimeters. And then I'm going to click on this. I'll just make a sample of the color here. And then click OK. That's too thick. So I'm just going to go back to, say, 1 millimeter. And that's good, right? So now like this one here, it magnifies a part. It's like a magnifying lens, right? But say I want to highlight this one because I'm going to put a description underneath of that one. Now to freeze this, it's really easy. You click on frozen. And then now if I move it over, it's not going to magnify a part of the image because it's already frozen. So what you can do, you can move it over here, right? And then... And then, of course, you can also use the Bezier tool. Say you want to show this is the bigger part. I mean, this is a magnifying part, magnified part of this object here. So I can make a line and then I'm going to go there, right? Now, to, to make it consistent with my outline, I can go here and I think I use one. But then I want to change the color to make it this one. I go back here double click one millimeter that's fine but the color is different so I click on the color I uh, color dropper and then just sample that and then click OK okay and then what I can do too is I can put an arrow there so here is the start of the arrowhead and click there and there you go Okay, but well, you can always change the arrowhead. Say, for example, you don't want that arrowhead. You want just like a simple dot. You can also do it that way. It's up to you. Now, you're also not stuck to circle. You can also use, um, you know, a square. So, for example, I'm just going to do it here. And then to, to make a shortcut, what I can do... Uh, wait, I'm just going to do it this way first. I'm going to magnify this. Okay, I'm going to go to lens, so I'm ready in lens, and I'm just going to, okay, so I'm going to magnify, so magnify here, and that's the magnified version, say for example, I want this magnification, you can always change the magnification here by clicking on the amount of magnification, but say I'm happy with that one, I'm going to click frozen, or I can also add some you know, radius corners like that. And then I can freeze it, right? So frozen, same as the last time we did. And I'm going to move it over, say, here, right? So this is the magnified part of this one. Now to to do it quickly, to get the properties of this one and put it here, it's easy to. So you click on this and then you go to view, uh, not view, edit, copy properties from. Now I'm going to copy the properties of the outline pen of this the outline color and also the fill. The fill is not important because I didn't pull the fill. And when you click OK, now you just choose this one here and there it copies the property of the outline and the outline color. 
so that's kind of like a shortcut now the only thing I have to do is put this one now to make it faster I just duplicate this so edit um, duplicate and then move the duplicate part here okay and then you use the shape tool and then just drag this over like that and that's it so it's magnifying this part of the of the image and that's great for scientific illustration or scientific poster very simple and very powerful